Remember me? Remember how I said life was going to shit? Well, boy, did it get worse. <laughs> So, a jerk vid's coming up. Bought parts for it. It's a battery box. I'm not gonna pull it out because it's covered in shit. But, <laughs> but drift day is coming up. It's two Saturdays from now. It's in two weeks. It's like March something. I'll put it on the screen. It's not gonna be a normal D day. It's actually going to be on the road course, which is exciting but fucking expensive. So there's a few things I have to do to the car before that event and I'm not gonna make multiple videos of doing one fucking thing so I'm just gonna film everything I gotta do to the car before the event and I'm gonna film the event and then I also have some RC stuff going on on my film so there's a couple videos in the works. But the thing I'm doing today hopefully is a battery box. The way that my battery's tied in right now is quite sketch and uh, the guy that runs the events, and he said I needed to change it, which I needed to change it to begin with, but I threw it in there the way it is to get me to an event, and I hadn't changed it. <laughs> but I bought one of the metal welded ones from Summit, so it'll be nice and tight. There's really not much else I need to do to the car. I haven't touched the car at all since the last event, really. I mean, I've driven it here and there, but I haven't done anything else. This winter was supposed to be the winter that I cleaned the car up and fixed all the body panels and painted it and all the cool stuff, but uh, life happened and <laughs> I didn't have money or time. So I'm gonna try to fix it up throughout the year, try to make it look a little bit nicer, but who knows what's actually gonna happen. But the only things I really need to do to the car, other than the battery box, is just to nut and bolt. So check, make sure everything's tight, do an oil change, and I need to get tires, but other than that, I'm just gonna send it and hope the car lasts. But I'll show you the battery and how it looks right now. Sorry for the poor lighting, but this is how it looks right now. So this plastic battery box actually has like four self-tapping screws holding it down into the car with big washers on them. And then I have this piece of metal that I got at Lowe's and it wraps around and it's uh, self-tapped on each side. I mean, it stays. I've never had an issue with it falling out and doing anything weird. It's always stayed in place, but it's still not the way that you should do it. I'm going to weld the box probably right back where it is right now because I don't want to put it in here because I take my tires to the track and I utilize this space a lot. And same thing for back there. And the only thing i got to worry about is where the back bumper, the stock metal bumper, bolts in. Which, there's one of the holes right there and the other one is under the box. So I'm going to make sure to uh, drill out a hole in the battery box to where I'm still able to access that bolt. I'm just going to have to pull the battery out. I really need to paint this trunk. My friend Josh is the one that's going to be welding it in for me. He has a little company called Wolf Fab Works. I think I'm actually wearing a t-shirt. He's the guy that does all my fab work for me. I went to school with him. He's always been a good buddy. And he always does things for a good price. And he always does a damn good job. So I trust him with pretty much any fab work that I ever need done. But I'm going to start heading to his place. battery box is in but I have to paint some more of the battery box tomorrow I'm getting my new tires put on so tonight I'm just going to bolt check and do a look over of the car to make sure that everything is ready for Saturday this is my new cat by the way so far its name is floof I can't think of a better name but fuck he is floofy I got my antidepressant a little big fucking floof all right, let's go outside. God. There she is. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda drunk. It'll be all right. Why is it wet? It is completely soaked with water, what the fuck? Oh, there's still snow melting. Well, fuck. 
That, that can't be wet. I need to paint more. This is soaked. How am I supposed to paint this? So I'm just gonna toss the battery in, say fuck it. Oh, fuck this bitch heavy. Yeah, this box is way too big. The battery has way too much play in it, but uh, it'll have to do because it's what I fucking bought. For some reason, Tire Easy keeps sending me tires banded together very uselessly with one band, so it's just fucking annoying. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty fucking drunk. <laughs> All my stickers are fucking peeling up because I left the car out in the snow for one fucking night. So, you can see my battery relocation wire goes into the body of the car, and then the second wire that's attached right here that has a fuse on it, this goes all the way through and goes into this relay for my uh, fuel pump. That's a re or fuel pump relay and a whole bunch of other shit, whatever. I don't know wiring, people do it for me. When I put this battery box in, I had to flip my battery around because originally my positive was on this side, but I couldn't do that because the terminals were cl too close to this metal, so it would have shorted out the positive to the negative. So I had to flip the battery, and now this wire right here is too short. So I'm going to have to extend this out so then I can run it all the way under here with all the rest of this harness and then just have my positive cable coming out of here and going right in. So then there's no wiring, nothing can be in the way. Until I actually give a fuck, this is how it's going to have to look. I should not be working on cars when I'm drunk. So I'm gonna pull the fucking wheels off. Ugh. Get the fuck off me. We need bangers. Where are the bangers? I'm not gonna get fucking anything done. I need to stop drinking. I have to fucking work tomorrow. What am I doing? I have an idea, hold on. Hey. Oh. <laughs> what? Hey, guess you didn't get anything done yesterday. <laughs> I just got home from work. I'm about to load my wheels and tires into the Lexus and head over to my friend Kurt's dad's shop to get some tires changed. And then I don't know what. <laughs> going on here? Hello. I just got home. I honestly have a lot of things I need to get done on the car, but I doubt that I'll actually do it. I was gonna come back, start working on things, but then uh, we got pulled over, we got McDonald's, uh, the cop thought that I sold cocaine. It was an interesting trip that took a little longer than expected. Honestly, I'll, I should lower the car, bolt check, oil change, and be good. Um, will I do that? I have no idea. 
Worst comes to worst, I'll probably be doing an oil change at the track Saturday. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna get all these tires and shit unloaded and go in for the night. So see you tomorrow or something. So I got to Tyler's. We had to get his car ready and get my car ready. I didn't film it. The last thing that we got to do is put training fluid, top my training fluid off in the 240, and then it's done. We've already finished everything else. So this vlog's went to shit. I haven't filmed anything. <laughs> With all the shit in the trunk, this thing looks slow as fuck. But I'm not going to film anything else. All I'm doing is topping off the training fluid. So sorry for the shit vlog. Um, the drift event's tomorrow, so I'll be filming that and making a video on it. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.